You guys, you probably know by now that over here on this channel, we like to talk about teams that are doing very well across the league that a lot of the mainstream media usually doesn't cover. But today, we are going over one of the biggest surprises across the NBA so far, but it isn't necessarily for all of the right reasons. And if you haven't caught on yet, we're going to be discussing none other than the one and only New York Knicks. Because this team has definitely ran into their fair share of rough patches so far, as they currently sit at an 18 and 20 overall record and the 11th seed in the Eastern Conference, which I will say is only eight and a half games back from the one seed. But still, Knicks fans, I know you're probably a lot more frustrated than you anticipated at almost the halfway mark of this 2022 NBA season. Nonetheless, I think this situation is not nearly to the degree as bad as the media is trying to portray it. And on top of this, the quote unquote solution the Knicks need to save this season is not as complicated as everyone thinks thinks. But yes, this is what we're going to be covering in today's video. One sec, if you haven't yet, don't forget to like the video if you do enjoy, subscribe, and turn on those noties to never miss another NBA video. Love you guys. And for any of you regulars around here that haven't yet, you're really killing me at this point. Because according to my numbers, around 95% of you guys coming back to watch this content haven't even subscribed yet. So for any of you that do, I appreciate you more than anything. Thank you so much. But anyway, let's get back on top with the Knicks. Yes, the injury and protocol ridden Knicks who have been flying through players left and right through these 38 games and are still almost at a 500 record. Do you guys happen to see the point I'm trying to make with that initial statement? Because if not, I'll make it very clear that the entire world has to relax on the New York Knicks. Because if history is going to repeat itself, I think Knicks fans are going to be very satisfied with what the outcomes will be. And if you're wondering what I'm referring to with this, remember last year when the New New York Knicks finished with a 41 and 31 record and the fourth seed in the East. Well, yeah, in that season, through their first 38 games, that Knicks team had a 19 and 19 record, and their record through 38 this year just one short of that at 18 and 20. Again, I know it's a different team. It's a team that's added more players. It's a team with more experience, but still, it's a team that has seen a rough start like this before, and it's a team that we have definitely seen respond to this type of adversity in a positive way. But if we're gonna point some things out about this team that need to change in order to see this type of turnaround. Let's dive into some of the obvious. First things first, just from watching this team, the amount of time that I have, it seems very clear to me that the mentality and effort from the team overall is not the same as we have seen in the past. Because I mean, almost all of us know that last year, this team relatively came out of nowhere. They were the underdogs, the team that nobody expected to finish at the point that they did. And you would think building that kind of confidence along with adding players that have helped in specific areas such as Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier that they would be off to a much better start than what we've seen. And I mean the effort that I'm seeing on the court has picked up as the year has gone on but when this team is not hitting their shots and or they are not on stride with each other it seems almost impossible for them to get back into a rhythm. And like the Knicks figured it out last year I have full belief that they will be able to do so eventually this year as well. It just really adds to the point of why I think calling this team a fluke is is not the right thing to do. But aside from one of the easiest components possible to fix, there's something else that's really been sticking out to me as well, which is a little more difficult to perfect, and that is the team's chemistry. Obviously, like we mentioned previously, the core of this lineup has returned from what the Knicks had last year, but still, even with the small new amount of pieces that they added, it's clear the chemistry has not been clicking for this team, as they have been continually trying new things, both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball for the majority of this season so far. And again, a lot of this has to do with the discrepancies the Knicks have been dealing with throughout their entire rotation. As if you didn't know, the Knicks actually only have seven players on their team that have played in 30 plus games out of their 38 total so far. And also, the Knicks have somehow had 20 different people play on this team at one point or another. And again, we're not even to the halfway mark of the season. So yeah, Knicks fans, I know you're probably mad about the chemistry and the fact that it's not as efficient as you know it can be, but also it's definitely fair to say that the Knicks have not really been able to catch a break. I mean, seriously, I think it's hard for any NBA team 
team to build chemistry with these types of issues happening so consistently. Obviously, there's still no excuses, but I think we're going to be seeing a turnaround with this Knicks team in due time. We'll just have to wait and see. Because yes, even though the Knicks are off to this sluggish start, it can be fixed in the simplest of ways as we have just gone over. And even with this below par beginning to the season, there are definitely some things that the Knicks can be happy about looking forward. An example will bring up one of their offseason pickups in Kemba Walker, who went from being benched just 15 or so games into the season, to having one of the best weeks out of anybody in the NBA, putting up averages of 26 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists per game over a 4 game span, while taking home Eastern Conference Player of the Week, and also being one of the few in NBA history to drop a Christmas Day triple-double. Knicks fans, you might have been very up and down at different points through this season so far about Kemba Walker, but it really looks like this man could be a solid piece into your rotation, you just need to figure out where to use him most effectively. But besides Kemba, and I know the averages don't really show for it, but I think RJ Barrett has made some monumental strides this season compared to last. Again, his numbers have been inconsistent, but when this man gets on a hot streak, he stays on that hot streak for quite some time. And I think it's clear to many that the Knicks have taken on the game of the three ball more than they maybe ever have in their franchise's history, but with taking on this style of play more, they have been doing it very effectively, and believe me, the numbers show for it. As currently, the Knicks sit as a top 10 team overall in terms of team three-point percentage, while also surprisingly enough, taking the fifth most attempts per game out of any team across the league. If you're not entirely sure how great those two stats are, just know that those are some nice numbers to see. All in all though, I think this Knicks team has been thrown under the bus too many times so far this season from what we have seen. Like, yeah, we know this start wasn't exactly what the world was expecting, especially Knicks fans. But hey, one of the biggest positives that I'm seeing out of it for you guys is that you're starting to acquire that underdog tagline again that you had for the entirety of last year. And we all know how that season ended. Once again, I'm not saying that history is going to repeat itself, but don't be surprised if it does. However, now we're into my favorite part of the video, which is hearing everything that you guys have to say. So please let me know in the comments down below what is the Knicks biggest problem that you have seen so far this season and on top of this what you think the Knicks record is going to be at the end of the 2022 year. I know I definitely didn't cover everything that was on your mind so let me hear what you gotta say. Also if you guys haven't yet don't forget to go down below and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and subscribe while you're down there. I really can't say it enough you guys we're coming out with brand new NBA content every single week around here. We are officially into the heart of the NBA season and you don't want to miss out. But on that note, I also wanted to say thank you so much to each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate y'all more than anything. You all know this and I will see you guys in the next video.